All right. So, lunch break time. This woman puts so much on my task list today that it is ridiculous. And I put so much extra water in this in this soup that it is ridiculous. Everything is just ridiculous today. I'm down to about I'm down to about a quart a quarter tank of gas. Um the exterminator they 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 give us a notice at, at the building um that the uh, fucking uh exterminator is coming a day before the fucking extermination. It's like why would you do that? Like, if the extermination is on the third, I get into some kind of like German hissing cockroach uh, infestation. I haven't seen a German infest in, uh, hissing cockroach in my apartment yet. But I, again, again, I don't leave food out and I try not to leave dishes out, you know, overnight or, or over, or, you know, of course, for a whole time to where to track bugs and mice and shit. So, but, um, yeah. You know, um, I don't, you know, my biggest thing is, is, you know, like the organization and like the professionalism, like if you have a position that's so, it's supposed to be over other people, but yet you don't carry yourself, like, like you carry yourself kind of childish, you know, childish, or you think you can keep, you know, winging it and keep attacking people because you think you're better than everybody, then that's you. I just don't put up with it. I've worked enough, and it's not like I'm high and mighty. I just work um, uh, enough uh, com- companies and jobs and, you know, LLCs and big box, you know, company, commercial companies. I've had a couple, I've, I've, I had a couple spins around these blocks. So I know a little bit about uh, my worth as a regular employee. Like, first off, I keep telling you, man, if a company has no employees, if there aren't any flowers for bees to pollinate, pollinate the bees will die. If there are no bees, there's no regulation in the ecosystem. Ecosystem eventually will perish. So you have to understand, like, but people with these high and mighty positions, this is how corporate corporate corporations and businesses, this is how they became corrupt. Because people, they got a little higher paycheck or they got a little higher position and they start running away. Yeah, I forgot what I came for. I'm huge. And that's what messes up, like, the economy, per se. But the people who get these higher checks and they got these better positions, they're not trying to hear this because they're living good. They're living well. Even though in, in their soul might not be good and their spirit might not be good, I can go all day about that. But that's not what this is about. This is about the worth and value of an employee is what it's about and it's not about being right it's not about being wrong it's 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 not about who you know who can be the bigger dude or who can be the bigger guy it's not even about that because that's a problem too you get people who think just because they're bigger they're smarter or they think because they're bigger that they can intimidate you no you know you're making yourself look fucked like you need your information right before you can you know, jump to the point where you just so huge and jump to the point where you think you just almighty and all, 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 all this and all that. But that's just some of my lunch thoughts. <laughs> Already. Um, other than that, car is better at a quarter tank. Not good, but I do get paid tomorrow because I'm all, um, I got an ace account. I get paid a couple days earlier, so I might have got paid today. Like I could check, but I'm in a negative because I forgot um, one of my subscriptions fucking took the money out, which gives me an overdraft fee. So that's like a twenty dollar fee, and then I know I, I knew I overdrafted last week because I needed to get um, something. Can't even think of what I need to get. I needed to get something. Anyway, it's just like continual, just like back to back, just like dumb shit, just like dumb shit, just stupid shit. 
you know, that's like unnecessary or uncalled for, but I keep going through it because I can't afford not to. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about finances. Like, if I had the money, I would not be, I'm telling you, only because people think they can treat you a certain way. And it's, it gets crazy. Like, that's this is what leads to killings. I keep telling you, this is what, how I'm pretty sure this is how Columbine and Batman and all the biggest catastrophes happen. These people, you keep playing with them and keep playing with them up until they, now when they retaliate, now all of a sudden they, they the bag all of a sudden. What led to that? And no, I'm not talking about, you know, bombings, you know, USA Twin Tower shit because, you know, if you're going to be a bully, you get fucked up too. It goes, it goes both ways. It goes both ways. You can either keep picking on somebody until they fuck you up or you can keep bullying somebody up until they fuck you up. Or you can keep playing the bully up until you get fucked up. It goes both ways. But people not trying to have that conversation. People are so busy being right. And being fucking content with the bullshit that we call today's, you know, employment standard, man. And like I said, I know it's not just one particular company. This is, like I said, this is job at least number six for me. It, within the last two years. At least about to be three years. And this, I say at least, because I've had a couple jobs. Temp jobs here. You know, odd jobs. You know, one day, two day jobs. And they all treat the employee like, you know, like a, putting up a piece of rat's fur. A piece of rat ear or some shit. It's like, what the fuck? Like, if it went for me, your job would not get done. <laughs> like, I need to be able to make my own union or some shit. Like, yo, if y'all ain't paying right and all of that, like. Uh. This particular company, why am I still here? I'm working on uh, month uh, six. Why am I still like this company? Because the manager, the owner, I'm sorry. There's no real manager. It's the owner of the company, and that's it. And that's why I kind of like it here. Just like I liked it, this other uh, 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 cleaning company. I like that cleaning company because she hired you know majority female. That's another story. A couple of dudes working there too. But anyway, so I like the simple simplicity of the owner of the company, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where you go if you got a problem. That's where you go if your pay ain't right. You know, that's where you go if you need something. That's where you go if you have an inquiry. You know, that's where you go. I like that. I don't like no big Nestle where you got to go find an area manager, talk to the regional manager. I'm out. So I like that. That's why I'm still here now. Cause he's one only one, that, and then she's actually pretty cool. I, if you once once you learn how she moves and how she places her puzzle her pieces, and you learn how she plays on her board, you can kind of get on and kind of just join into her mix and you mix right in. Now my problem with her is is that she always want to be the one with the you know with the I don't want to say the big guns, but she always want to be the one that's like okay, you know no one else is really thinking about the company. And I kind of understand that because she's the owner of the company. So I'm not getting in her way. But if I work for somebody, especially on a up close and personal uh, front, like if I work for you and it's, a, and it's on a personal front, then I'm going to start thinking about the company. I don't just show up to be a dummy. I think like that, especially if I'm thinking working from working somewhere for so long, my mind starts to wander and linger into different places like, OK, if this is where we get these chemicals every day, okay. If this is, you know, the amount that we use, okay. And then you start thinking, well, there's different stuff with stains on the floor. Like, you start getting deeper and deeper into your job. At least I do. And she kind of like, she didn't um, um, chastise me for getting deeper into my job. But she was kind of like, no, I'm the leader here. Not. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm not trying to step on your toes in the slightest. Like, I'm thinking like, you will want somebody else to care about. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but she kind of takes offense to that. So I had to back off and kind of just dull down, like dump down my own work ethic. Like, well, I just become a regular employee, which means I show up, do a good job and leave. Like, and not worry about shit, which is cool with me. I get the same paycheck either way. But I'm saying like, just my skill as a person who don't want to waste his time every day, which means if you show up to do something, okay, they're like, if you got a wife. If you give me your wife gifts every day, but you're not paying attention to how she feel about it or a girlfriend, whatever, or a daughter, any kind of woman situation, your mom, if you're doing things for your uh, woman uh, family or counterpart uh, every day, 
but you're not paying attention to how it affects them. You're not paying attention to what it does to change who they are, what it does to change their mind, how it makes them feel about the rest of their day and stuff like that. If you're not paying attention to all of that, you're wasting your time. And that's how a lot of marriages get divorced. That's how a lot of relationships end up getting crumpled. That's how a lot of daughters end up growing up retarded and half raised. Because the man think they can just pop up on dirty, blah, 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 but they're not really paying attention. And that's never who I was. If I'm dealing with you, I'm going to start paying attention eventually. I'm not going to say I'm going to actually be paying attention. Like, oh, I'm just so into you. No, nah, but I'm saying, like, I just don't like wasting my Isn't I'm, I am looking at my age, too, don't forget. I'm 36, man. I kind of don't have no time to waste. <laughs> I'll be 46 in 10, 10 more years. I'll be 40 in 40 years. So I'm kind of running out of time to play around. You know, I can barely study. Like, I'm, I'm studying. I'm finally writing down notes. I'm getting to that point now where I do, you know, retrieve some good notes so I can pull out my notebook. I left my bag in the car. I can pull out my notebook. I can easily look at my notes and blah, 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 and feel a little bit more confident. But as far as feeling ready for that essay, hell no. Nope. Nope. I do not feel ready for the essay. Not even, not even in the slightest. Not even a little bit do I feel confident and ready. I don't even feel like, and like I said, you have to pay. You have to pay for your own voucher. <laughs> This is not Tri-C. This is not Cleveland State where you 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 take the class and then here come the final. No, this is, okay, you ready for the essay? Okay, come pay for the voucher. <laughs> this is not a chance in all of this. this. is You pay 400 for the voucher or you pay 400 because there's a kid. What it is is there's a couple of different options with the A+. Plus. You can just get voucher only. I think voucher only is like... 250 or 225 I think if not 275 then it's other kids and of course you know it's sponsored by CompTIA so they give you different options they say okay on this option you get the whole kit you get the couple books where you can study you get the Mike Myers videos and the whole thing is like 400 450 or you can go to medium route where you where you get like a couple answer uh you know keys like the key sheet the answer key sheet they give you the answer key sheet you can study it and then, of course, when it's time for you to take the test, you know, you're not supposed to have none of that. Or there's that. Then, it's like the bare minimum one, which is voucher only. And I think even the voucher only is almost 300. So that's why I'm like, I don't really have time to, like, be be barely half studying and then feeling half cock confident. Like, you know, I'm just half cocked. I'm just half ready. Like, nah, bro. I got to take the A+, plus, man, so I can move on to the network plus. Move on to the fucking security plug. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, come on, man. But it's all good. It's all good. Now, I am worried because uh, I already filled my first goal. I filled my first goal already. Which was get the A plus before the end of the year, and I started this uh, this challenge maybe four to five months ago, at minimum. Four to five months ago, at minimum, and I failed. I was supposed to be studied up because what happened was I um I um um. I got to the net network network uh, portion, and when I got to the network po uh, network portion, I froze up uh, completely. My whole my whole uh, study ethic and everything like that just just froze up. And the reason why I froze up is because I couldn't remember the fucking ports. I couldn't remember. Every time I would study them, I would forget what the... And I, I would do a... I made flashcards, two, three different versions of flash. I was going crazy trying to study. But every single time I did it, it was just like, okay, port 148 is what? No one is supposed to be IMAP. I believe 148 is IMAP port, which is for emails. I believe it's for emails. I know POP3 is for email, but I think IMAP is another email port. So, 
that's why I, and I, and I got discouraged because it was so many it was so many different ports for me to remember um, that I had stopped studying. And every time I went back to study, I, I expected myself to just instantly pick up where I left off. And that's not how it works. Like, everybody knows if you start something or you start studying something, you have to keep it up. Or else, you know, you're going to fail at it. That's just, that's just how it is. It's just how, how it goes, man. So, and that was three to four months ago. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And then I'm looking up on YouTube, like, people getting the, cert the A-plus certification in two weeks. <laughs> A month at minimum. I'm like, oh yeah, this should be cakewalk because I'm already amped and ready for this new IT world where it's less about hardware. It's not less about hardware. The more you, know, if you grew up in the old school with the IT and you started off on, you know, Windows 95 and Windows XP and all of that, Windows 7. If you started off with all of that, Windows 98, Windows Me and stuff, you know. And yeah, you, you you definitely have a stronghold on, on on what's going on today. But it's more mobile driven today, more tablet driven, more laptop driven when it comes to dealing with customers. Especially when you come dealing with Apple, it's definitely more iPhone and iPad and less you know MacBook and Airbook, uh, you know MacBook Air and stuff like that. So, and I've been prepared. I just need to get the certification. I just need to get the paper now. You need the piece of paper that says you know how to do it. And because there's nothing I can't figure out, like I say, it's either me or Google. <laughs> you like we 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 the two we the two titans fighting up on the top of the IT heap on who on who who can figure this out first and faster. <laughs> I'm battling Google. <laughs> I don't just go to Google and I don't know something. I try to figure it out. So But uh yeah man. It's getting drastic with that. And then, of course, not having a couch. Still not having a bed, like a real mat a real mattress box screen to sleep on. It's just super depressing. It's very depressing. I don't know how to deal with that kind of situation. Now, the air mattress that I have is not whack. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely, it's actually quite big. But... If you haven't thought about the activities that, you know, <laughs> may take place on an air mattress, you might want to get yourself a box spring. I mean, I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But, um, that's whack. Then, of course, I'm going to be, my, this check going to be low because I missed a day yesterday. Um, Parma PO, they switched up POs and they needed me to come down to the office to get I'm like, Y'all couldn't call me and just take my information down. Y'all had to literally have me take a whole day off. Because, you know, I'm supposed to be on the bus. This car is not legal. A, my license is still null and void. And B, my tag is expired. Now, what I did do was put, um, I went to the library and printed out uh, a 12 and put it over the 10. So, it looks like 12, whatever, whatever. So, if a... You know, somebody happened to pass by quickly and glance quickly, I'll be safe for the meantime. But then it's the matter of my license. And then not the course, somebody I was talking to, uh, this lady, I was supposed to get a second job too, actually. But she never called me back, so I don't know. So with that, I'm going to have to try to call her again today. But, um, yeah, she, um, she said, yeah, you know, you can get yourself some, uh, you know, some, uh, you know, driving, driving privileges. Why don't you talk to Parma? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm going to talk to, uh, talk to my judge about it. Talk to the judge. That's, that's how Parma knew me about it. But I want to pay off like half of my uh, fees for it, which I have down to about half of my fees. So, she, so he's like, yeah, you know, just, you know, give, you know, give us a call when you pay off. Cause I owe 800. I'm down to like 600, 500. So we'll see, you know. But you're stressing this too much. Can't keep stressing like this every day. It's unhealthy. It's too much. But the amount of work done, man, that this lady put on here, she wrong, bro. She wrong. Like about the the, the text is in my phone. If I can show you. 
how much work you will be like wow but somebody quit <laughs> just this week people keep constantly quitting this job and I kind of see why I can kind of see why this job is cool if you know how to do it on your own you cool if you the type that need constant um you know you need somebody constantly down your ass constantly sucking your dick every two minutes you need constant vag check you know every hour this in the party might not be your kind of job <laughs> you gotta kind of know what you're doing on your own and when the owner come check if it look good then she gonna say it. if it look bad she gonna say it you know so you gotta be ready you can't just think everything is gonna be easy or whatever you gotta be prepared man you gotta be you know on point as they call it. on point as they as they call it you have to be on point so yep yeah, I got offered some weed the other day um, it wasn't sad for me to turn it down because a I don't really smoke everybody's weed not gonna lie but B um, you know probation and then I'm also scared because like I told you I had that one positive um, uh, drug uh, dropping or, you know, drug test or whatever. And I went back. They told me, okay, it's just golden. That was really it. I don't know if that's really going to be it. I don't know. You know, excuse me, I might go back and they might be like, okay, so your court date is November. And I'm going to be like, what? <laughs> you know, like, I did what I could do. I know I fucked up. <laughs> I definitely quit drinking during the week. Well, Halloween was another story. I got pretty fucked up on Halloween. And I don't even know why, because I didn't go to no party or nothing. So, well, yeah, I go back to probation Thursday, which is tomorrow. I get paid tomorrow. Fill up on gas. <sighs> go get this turntable, since I got two, three crates of vinyls. Test out the vinyls. Find out which ones work. Might sell a couple of them. I mean, just a whole bunch of stuff. I put a whole bunch of listings on offer up on Facebook Marketplace. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just... I don't know. Once again, I just need the cheese. I just sold three PS4 games yesterday. I shipped them off. I should be getting the money for those at, at, at max. Uh, at max, I'll be getting next week. At minimum, Friday. I should be getting the payout for that. Which is like 40, 50 bucks. So, of course, I'm trying to sell the rest of them for cheap. So. But, that's lunch. So, to the next one. Peace out.